has gotten some of the parts in that it needs for repair. Most importantly, the hydraulic cylinder that needs to be replaced. I'm really looking forward to that because we've had to really go easy on being able to use it. Getting that fixed will allow us to get out here and actually really put it to use. Guide wheels, I believe, have been shipped. Big, big changes are going to take place around here with that cutter. Now it weighs 1,500 pounds. I've got the brake set on it. I don't expect it to go anywhere, but I can guarantee you that if you don't fasten it down, it's gonna go somewhere. Follow! Come on, buddy. Get in. Well, today, I'm on the way to pick up the keys for the new house that we're renting. That worked out pretty nicely, worked out quickly. <clears throat> Found out one week ago that we had to move. That was Tuesday afternoon. And today is Wednesday and I'm picking up the keys. So that's pretty good. We're gonna be moving in in the next week. Got a little bit of an overlap, but not much. They're trying to get us out of the place we're in so they can have inspections done and start getting repair people in there to get everything set up so they can close when they want to. So, works out for us, works out for them. It's just very, very busy and a little bit stressful. You can see I have the car completely loaded with stuff because I'm not gonna waste a trip that I take in that direction since I'm picking up the keys. I'm gonna swing by the house, drop off a car load of stuff, and then we've got a U-Haul that we're renting this weekend. And basically, we're going to be moved out by the end of the weekend. Paulo's looking all concerned. No, 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 you're not going. Sorry. Yeah. He's looking all concerned because we're packing everything up. It's a strange thing with dogs. I think it just disturbs everything in their world and they don't like that. Well, we got another load in her car. Even got the leaf blower to try and clean the new driveway. Time to go get the U-Haul. In the midst of all this chaos that we've got going on, we don't want to miss out the opportunity to see something as beautiful as these fall colors. Unfortunately, we're not going to be building this weekend. We're going to be moving, but at least we have a pretty drive to do while we're doing it. I've said it before, and it bears repeating now. I am grateful. We are both still working. We have good jobs that have allowed us to pursue our dream of building a home and a working farm. When we found out that we had to move, we considered all our options. Rent an apartment and put most of our stuff in storage. Hey girl. Rent a house that had enough space for most of our things. Or buy a camper and store or get rid of almost everything we own. We put together a list of everything for rent that we could find online. And quickly ran through every option that was available. In the end, we stumbled upon a house that we had not planned to look at. Online, it didn't look like it would meet our needs but in person, you could see the potential. We emailed the rental agent only to discover that it was listed as no pets, and we went back home empty-handed. But the house was sitting empty, and in the email I mentioned that we were looking for a place we could move immediately. The agent texted me, gathered our information, and we were able to put something together and work something out. I'm grateful that we had the resources on hand to be able to make the move. That we are both healthy enough to be able to handle the workload of getting it done in a weekend. 
And I'm grateful that when it's all said and done, we're still talking to each other. I guess that officially closes this shop up. Good job. Good That's it. That's all. It's always a ton of things to be cleaned up when you're moving out. It just seems like it stretches out on and on and on. We are loaded up.